Oh. We're going to going to and take another shot at doing this video, and I'm actually going to check to see if this stupid thing's recording. So, um, well, perhaps I won't even bother. I, I know it's recording. I've just been having a little bit of an issue on my laptop this morning uh, with the audio part. And um, because I really don't have a clue how to run my laptop, and um, that that's not a pride thing, let me tell you. It's a common sense sort of deal. doesn't work, it doesn't work, and that sort of thing. But anyways, it doesn't cost much to do a video, just a little bit of my heart and a little bit of time. And I have a lot of both. And uh, But anyways, I, I, I did a video this morning um recalling what i'd watched on the weekend uh with regard to my 18 year old son who had fallen had a terrible injury at work uh back in the early 90s and and uh the resultant uh, demonstration of god's hand and uh it 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 uh, it it's hard on me um I am somewhat, shall we say, proactive in how I approach things, and and uh, but when there's nothing you can do that will alter, change a situation uh, in a physical sort of manner, uh, then you better pray or establish your belief system and. It's actually better to establish your belief system and or systems uh, prior to the stuff hitting the fan because then you're ready for when it does. Um, I, I had uh, gone <laughs> uh, hiking uh, back in... Uh, Oh, about 88 uh, with a, a friend who who, who um, he suggested that my two boys, uh, they're about 10 and 12, I suppose, at the time in that neck of the woods, and uh, that we would go with uh, him and a couple of other kids and another 18-year-old. And we would walk uh, 10 or 12 miles, packing everything, going across the river on a, on a trolley. Well, you couldn't walk across the river. It was about four to six foot deep and pretty quick. And, and uh, so you had to go on a trolley across the river and, and then hike a long way. And we did. And in that process of time, um, when we got to where we were going, which was called uh, Dormer Lake and or uh, Hidden Lake. Uh, hidden because it was a bit of difficult to find if you missed the trail up from the one river. And um, it was probably the Dormer River uh, in on the Yaha Tender Ranch. And uh, we, we had hiked back in and I... I uh, I carried my 12 gauge uh, shotgun because I tend to, uh, to have a mark on my back and critters, um, they aren't afraid of me at all. And in some ways that's good, but in other ways it's not so good. Anyways, uh, my youngest son is, is probably nine or ten. Uh, I could figure it out, and uh, and uh, he he may have been twelve. Gee, he was born in seventy six, and this would be about eighty eight. So he's he's twelve years old. I'm surprised at that, but he sure seemed. Ah, oh, he had to be younger. Had to, and. Uh, and I believe he was probably about nine or ten. And um, we had hiked into this lake, and 
I, I've always been in pretty good shape, but I've always carried about 10 pounds too much. And, uh, well, not always, but for the most part. And probably right now, I'm probably carrying three or four pounds that I, I shouldn't be. But anyways, I'm a pretty good cook, so poor excuse. Uh, but anyways, uh, my son had gotten separated from the other adult who uh, claimed to be my friend. I... I, I I wasn't too impressed with the guy, but it was my boy, and um, I loved him, and that sort of thing. And and in the process of time, and uh, th this video back uh, three three hundred and fifty or shoot, it might almost be four hundred videos uh, ago. Uh, it is called my lost son. Many people would hear that title and they'd think of an 18-year-old inundated with drugs or whatever, but it wasn't like that. It was where my boy, and he was young. And because I remember him running across a meadow to me after several hours of him being lost in cougar, grizzly, rough country. Uh, good country, but rugged, and I fit in back there better than I fit in anywhere else almost, and uh, which is not good, but anyways, um, I remember that day with a clarity that only uh, a man who knows what it is to be experiencing a broken heart. And, uh, and yet at the same time, uh, the quiet peace that comes to a person when they are facing a tribulation that they sure would rather not experience. And, and my little boy, um, and he was a little boy, and uh, and it, it is interesting when you're remembering 30 plus years ago, more actually, um, that it, it, it sometimes uh, requires a, a thoughtful consideration, and, and sometimes I guess a person should just make notes and stuff like that and and something's happened with my computer my laptop here and and I'm not getting any sound out of it when I do a recording and uh, but it shows up uh, on my iPhone so there's something not quite right with my laptop and so I'll have to take it down to Staples and walk in and say I don't have any noise here, and um, and um, and they'll they'll probably do some stupid little thing in it. It'll work. I hope. I don't want to have to buy another laptop. Gee, I well, I have never found the apostrophe on this one, but I've kind of gotten the rest of it figured out. And anyways, my young son had become separated from the adult who should have been paying more attention and perhaps I should have been, instead of laying down at the, as soon as we got to the lake, I was so tired and uh, I said, I don't like walking. That's what you have horses for and old dodges and old beat up Corvettes and, uh, and uh, but anyways, I had walked, what seemed uh, several hours, two, three anyways, and I, I had trailed my boy, tracked him down through a, a valley, uh, mountains on either side, big, uh, but there was a game trail that I, I was following. I knew my boy, if he had stumbled onto the game trail, 
uh, which probably led to him missing a turn and getting separated from the other kids and so on. And I had said to the Lord, uh, I said, uh, when I was laying down at the head of the lake, uh, I said, uh, I'd heard a lot of noise. I said, what's wrong? And he said, uh, Joe, uh, is Lois that 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 was my youngest son, and I said, "Well, uh, I should really get up and go look for him." He said, "Yes, you should." I said, "I have one question to ask you before I I do that." And he said, "Yes," and and I'm telling you, I talk to God, so you want to rip your hair out, better yours than mine. I don't hardly have enough left, but um, you don't like that. Well. I don't know what I can tell you. I, I chose to believe when I was quite young that God was real and uh, that he didn't require anything of me uh, to learn of him. He didn't require anything of me to be accepted by him in that I, I believed in God when I didn't even know his name. I, I never did get to know God's name until I was about nine. And uh, someone uh, told me that God had a son and his name was Jesus the Christ. Not Jesus Christ, Jesus the Christ. Well, I'd heard Jesus' name an awful lot and it had nothing to do with honoring God. It had to do with cursing and swearing and carrying on. And, and uh, but, but I learned that the way to be at peace with God is to ask uh, him to forgive you. Even if you were a kid and you hadn't hardly done anything wrong, but my ancestor, he goes back to Ireland. So, well, we all do everything wrong when you're from Ireland, kind of like everybody else, but we're a little quicker to admit it. And, uh, and I had followed my boy and I had carried my 12 gauge and every 15, half an hour, I, 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 I'd shoot my gun off and I called incessantly for my son. And at one point in time, a um, couple hours into that horror, um, I felt the need in my heart to yell as loud as I could. I, I, I'm pretty robust. Uh, I'm pretty loud. I'm kind of half obnoxious, really. And uh, I had called out to my son. I said, Joe, come down the mountain. And uh, I didn't know why I had to say that, but I did. And, Thus I did, and uh, about an hour later, I walked out into a clearing. This was quite a ways from where my boy had gotten sidetracked away from the other adult, uh, too, I guess, really, and the kids and so on. And uh, I go into great, greater detail in that video, my lost son. And people will watch that and they'll get upset because they haven't experienced necessarily what I have experienced. It does not mean that what I have experienced is right, but it does mean that it's right for me. It may not be right for you. So I, I, I wouldn't go insecure if I were in your place. I would just... Consider with an open mind that perhaps, perhaps someone else's experience may, may benefit you in some small way. Uh, anyways, uh, God assured me that my son would be all right, right at the start when he told me that he was lost. I, I needed to know that. And, um, uh, because it, it was daunting, eh? Uh, we were in in a valley, 
uh, with a beautiful lake and mountains, rugged critters. Uh, and people are on the menu. And we as people, we are on the menu of the bigger game animals, grizzly, mountain lion, black bear, um, other things like that. And uh, I, I stepped out into a clearing uh, two, three hours, maybe more, something like that. Um, at the same exact time uh, that my little boy, and he, I, I bet he was eight years old, no, no more than that. So uh, it had to be in the late 80s, uh, a bit earlier, uh, when this all went down. And, but my little boy come out the other side of the clearing at the same exact time that I entered the clearing. Sun was shining, sky was blue, mountains beautiful, rugged, rugged. And I crossed over to him and I met him in the center and uh, we hugged and he said, Dad, still got my fishing rod. And I said, I said, well, what happened? And he said, well, Dad, uh, I got lost. He said, all of a sudden, well, I, there was no one with me. And uh, I said, well, tell me about it. Well, he said, and kind of looked back at a mountain and he said, uh, I was climbing that because you, you, you taught me to find high ground where I could look around to get the lay of the ground. And, and he said, I was just going up that mountain and he said, I stopped and, and I turned around and I came down the mountain. I said, did you hear anything? He said, I didn't hear anything. And I said, well, you, you didn't hear my shotgun, my 12 gauge. I mean, it was in a valley. I mean, the, the noise reverberated. I mean, it was huge in that silence, that quietness of, of that mountain valley. And uh, he said, no, I didn't hear anything. And so my son and I, we hugged. I told him how much I love him. I've told them that ever since they were born. Both my boys, when they call, and they do call, and uh, when we hang up, I, I, I usually wait for my boys to say it first, and that is, they say, I love you, Dad. God bless you. Take care of her. And, uh, and I say the same thing to them because uh, we share uh, blood, genetics, heart, life's experiences. Uh, you, if, if you, you might light a candle for my, my boys because I raised them tough. And um, to my humiliation on, on occasion, I, I, I raised them pretty rugged because I knew that they had to be tough. I didn't name them Sue or anything stupid like that, but uh, I knew they had to be tough to survive. And so my sons, both my sons, and I, we have a we have friendship. We have relationship with God. We have relationship with each other. We don't always get along perfectly because we're human. And, uh, but we do get along because we have a commonality of who and what God is. So uh, my lost son uh, and the other video, my son's miracle, I'd encourage you to to watch those. You have to look them up. They're a long way back in my videos, but it may just encourage you a little bit when you're going through hard times that 
God does love you and he does care. And, uh, and it's up to you to choose whether you believe in him and or his son and his son, not or his son. It's kind of a package deal. So God bless you, eh? And, and uh, I'll get this old laptop figured out, and hopefully. In the meantime, you have a good day. Cowboy Jim, Fort Mac, God bless you, eh? Pray for one another. Carry, care. Amen.